my blessed children. I have come that you might have the touch of a mother's love. For it is that love that when incarnation arrives, you first feel the true essence of God love. For every love that follows that is a rehearsal of that one God love that you have known in the bosom of the I am. Holding fast to that feeling coursing through all of the rough edges of life is the constant reminder that you are not alone, that you have afforded you the blessing of every assistance from heaven. Not to say anything of those of your brothers and sisters of light that you are able to search out, rekindle those compassionate remembrances of times of old when you together have held one another up through the many challenges of life, encouraging and striving to assist at every turn those who have not gained the ability to stand in their own light for a time. You have been taught since early childhood to love one another, to be kind to one another, and to do unto others as you would have them do unto you. Why do you suppose this is? Is it merely so that you can feel good about all that you do and somehow elevate yourself among men and women? No, blessed hearts. It is so that you, in these physical octaves, will rehearse the activity of divine love that is required with the one God. And in the rehearsal of your day-to-day -day affairs, you are establishing a momentum that allows you to forge higher communions with God than heretofore. The practice will likewise enrich your life, for you will discover there is no such thing as a love that is extended by you or received by you that is absent 
the vibration of God. For when it is true love, in all of its pure forms, it is sacred and holy. It builds firm foundations in your relationships Within your spiritual community, you should be the highest vibration possible at all times. For indeed, you would not desire to despoil or disfigure any effort on the part of the brothers and sisters of light with which you associate. Therefore, blessed ones, learn your lessons well, even as though you were a little child. Start over if necessary, so that you can begin to forge those holy communions and bonds of God love. Why is this seeming obvious teaching so important to draw to your awareness and to anchor in the mental and emotional plane of the earth during the release of a quarterly conference of light. It is because, blessed ones, far too many have forgotten the charge of responsibility learned at their mother's knee or their father's knee or worse were not reminded at all you have the opportunity to pick up all of the lost threads of your early childhood as well as the previous lifetimes in which you have fostered many habits that are ill-advised and opposed to the vibration of a Christ. When teaching my beloved son, Jesus, I was keenly aware that there were those increments of life's lessons required for him to acknowledge and learn. How many of you can look back to the early days of even this incarnation and point to the early instruction on kindness, love, responsibility, constancy, Harmony. You could name every virtue and their extended qualities and reflect upon how you 
have come into your maturity. And what is the foundation upon which you have relied? Coming into the proximity of the teachings of the Ascended Masters, you have been afforded a new catechism, one that would give you the opportunity to retrace those areas of your life that require changing. Much is spoken about change. But to truly accomplish the change for the better, one must know what is the better. And once you think you have recognized what is better, you must know how to achieve it. And this is what the disciplines of the teaching taught at this altar time and time again day in and day out, broadcast across the world, affords every son and daughter of God. For no two individuals are at the same place and time in vibration and attainment. Therefore, the teaching is vast, multifaceted, all-encompassing in life. And thus you can never receive enough. As quickly as you try to excuse your outer consciousness that you know a certain teaching, on the instant, your Holy Christ Presence will test you to see if you were being truthful to yourself. First and foremost, one must recognize the truth even what they report to themselves. Is there honesty that you pour out in your prayers, your decrees, and your supplications to God? Are you able to surrender all that you have ever thought was who you are and let it go so that your own God presence can return it to you in greater capacity and understanding of the truth of cosmic law. This is most important, blessed hearts. For your own heart flame can only respond in truth, can only be God reality. If you desire to expand the threefold flame of the heart, into all of your life. It does require allowing that truth of your God reality to touch every part of your life. 
you cannot hide from God. You cannot close the door and pretend that your own God presence does not see, hear, or know. For the office of the Holy Christ presence is ever close at hand. And even when there are those areas of your life with which your own Christ presence cannot abide, that Christ presence does know that you have entered into a vibration unbefitting the truth of who you are and resides in the realm of perfection until such time as there is the tone sent forth by your accelerated vibration, inviting your presence back into your life in an active expression. As the mother of millions, I speak in direct, simple terms, for not all understand the English language through which this anointed representative is addressing you. And any and all translations must be as clear and as true to my meaning as possible. For every son and daughter of God, no matter the circumstances of your life, are required to hear the mother's voice, to receive the mother's love, and to abide in the presence of the mother light. Throughout the ages, I have addressed many cultures and many lands through the children. And it is to this end I address you today. For circumstances of life is always a tenuous journey. You cannot be sure what is around the next corner. You must prepare for today. Setting your affairs in order. Those affairs with your mighty I am presence. For when you are right with God and your vibration is sure and constant, you will know what is expected of you and how to convey as these vehicles of consciousness that you wear the desire of your own God presence. That is what these vehicles are charged to accomplish. So when 
we say, know your responsibilities. We speak to the outer vehicles. Accept the disciplines imposed by the threefold flame of your heart. Accept the vibration of the mighty I am presence so that you are constantly receiving the stream of consciousness light and God life flowing into your furthest extremities. Allowing for your touch of the hand to convey the energy of a Christ, for your words to convey those statements of truth and cosmic law that you have known so intimately and become those thoughts of the mind of God that course through this outer mind that you have within, establishing right patterns of thought that will propel you and each of your vehicles in the right course, keeping you prepared constantly for any thought, erg of energy, light ray, whatever the presence may convey, for you will be poised to receive it. Blessed hearts, once more I receive your petitions. for healing and wholeness. I know well those trials that you go through and the courage that it takes for you to pen those petitions, conveying them to my heart. Not one goes unnoticed. Not one goes unanswered. For if there is not the immediate surcease, know well there are extenuating reasons that the karmic board has determined this is the right course for the life stream. Or there are mitigating circumstances that will be applied within the right time and cycle. It is enough to know that you have desired the assistance of a mother's love and the karmic board. And for you, it should be sufficient to know that your call is answered even the moment 
that you have put that call to paper and sent it on its way. Blessed hearts, there are always vehicles of responsibility throughout the cosmos to assist in the divine action that carries out cosmic law. This is one that has been put in place for your benefit. How foolish you would be to ignore that opportunity. For much can be gained in many of the circumstances toward healing the surcease of pain, the feeding of the hungry, the comforting of those who have experienced loss. All this and so many of life's challenges many times require the assistance of another to help hold the weight of the burden for you while you catch your breath, while you regain your harmony so that you will know exactly what your presence desires. For all of the answers are right within you. But when you are not able to see clearly, to perceive the truth, to maintain the resonance of harmony for that conveyance of the truth or the vision. Then I implore you, call to me. Let me carry that burden while you regain your footing and inner strength to once more take up your tasks. My heart is big enough to love you all and to hold the immaculate conception for you, regardless of your pain and suffering. Come to the mother, and we together will find the solutions. When I present your petitions to the karmic board, Know that each one is deliberated by all. You could not have a greater body of ascended and cosmic beings coming together to weigh in on the solution for your life stream. Do not think they are too busy, nor I, to receive your petitions. 
have you forgotten? In the ascended octaves, there is no time and space according to what your relativity is. Therefore, you may call frequently. For we send our compassion and our unconditional love to reinforce your life stream while you are finding the love of your own God presence once more, while you are entering into the stream of the essence of God love, wherever you are. You, each one, are most important in our eye. Let your victory be one that is accomplished because you have stayed the course. You have held within your gaze the vision that would propel you through all of the trials of life. And then when you have needed to ask for help, you did not allow the human pride to keep you from asking for assistance. Why do you suppose the teachings of the Ascended Masters are revealed to the sons and daughters of God? It is because, blessed ones, assistance is needed and we are most joyous to give it. Let the light of our momentum and God consciousness surround you all your days till you are ascended in the fullness of the I am. I, Mother Mary, hold you in my heart and will not let go for one instant. I now step aside so that one of my sons now ascended may address you. <laughs> <laughs>